So hello and welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we are looking at this Yamaha VMAX. This thing is absolutely superb. Starting from the front to work to the rear of the bike, carbon front mudguard. Big VMAX radiator cover to the front in stainless. Working down the side of the bike, just look how good the alloy and the chrome is on this. Absolutely impeccable VMAX logos everywhere and a carbon rear mudguard. Also has a carbon tank cover on it as well. So oodles of carbon absolutely everywhere. Seating on this, absolutely lovely. Big wide seat with that seat rest to the back for the pillion and a small rear rack. And once again, looking down the near side of the bike, you can just see how clean this bike is. Is running a set of Bridgestone rubber on this bike. So some really good tires on this as well. Sitting on the bike. Now this does have a side stand to this bike. Just 29,462 miles on the clock and a side ignition switch just up to the right hand side of the tank. Display on this neutral oil turn, fuel and a high beam and you've also got a reserve tank that is on the right hand switch gear. Very basic controls again as you would expect from an 80s, 90s bike. But just listen to the pair of that engine. So the normal thing that we do, just pulling it away nice and steady feet up and just see what she is like at low speed maneuvers and it just chugs along absolutely superb now the mirrors on this nice and wide and I've got about I'd say a quarter of my shoulder in both mirrors but I can get a perfect view of the road behind on this so we're going to get this one out we're going to give it a road test and just show you what she is like now obviously the first thing I do before we leave is to check all the tyre pressures the oil the water but look hands off the bars tracks in a straight line absolutely perfectly now with these big v4 engines they do have oodles of torque at the back end so what we're going to do we're going to get it through the gearbox and just see what she pulls like so pulling out into traffic first second third up into fourth and we're sitting fourth gear we are going to be moving to the outside lane so in fourth gear shifting out but just look how quick you can get that power on the power delivery on the back end of this is absolutely massive and it wouldn't take long to obviously lift the front end on one of these and it was very very easy to do so on the way down just by using first and second gear as soon as you apply a little bit of power on there if you're a little bit overzealous with that right hand you can get that front wheel to lift now it's a shaft drive on this one braking on it absolutely superb look how quick it pulls you down on that front brake and just chucking a low into the roundabout just to see what this bridgestone rubber is like and it just can't straight over holds a perfect line every time and this time we're going to get some power on And you can see what I mean about it picks that front wheel up very, very easy. But the forks on this suspension, it's absolutely superb. Tracks the bike in a nice straight line, should be putting too much power on the bike. And that's sitting at a nice steady 65.70 all the way down the dual carriageway. But the riding position on this, as you can tell, it is absolutely blowing a gale today. But with the weight of this one, it just sits there, holds a perfect line and runs true all the time. Nice short bars on this, you've not got super wide bars like you have with some bikes. But the actual position for riding is superb. But once again, just throwing it into the roundabout. And the normal obligatory thing I do is we go under the tunnel. Red bottom. But just leaning it into the roundabout you just see how easy it is just to let the bike do its own thing just a little bit of body weight shift and even on a wet and damp road like today on that bridgestone rubber just holds a perfect line every time but if you do have this obviously a twitch of the wrist that power delivery just comes on the back end and just shifts you forward and obviously back in sort of the 90s these were the bike to have everybody had a v max and it was just a status symbol back then 
Now this one, for the year, is in very, very good order. And we tend to deal in quite a lot of these big V-Maxes. It is available if you wish to purchase from Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk. Telephone number is down the bottom 01908 643 603. If you are interested, give the bike sales team a call. Get a booking to come and view, and you could be taking away this machine. So that is the ride test completed on the VMAX. Absolutely runs lovely. And for myself, as always, it's a big goodbye from me.